is Saturday morning and today I am starting the uh, self-expression and leadership program which is the final part of the landmark curriculum which I've been doing. The self-expression leadership program is a three-month um, course during which you choose a project to accomplish or make massive progress on during that three months. Um, so it can typically be like a community project or it can be a business project um, but the I think the overall purpose of it is to redevelop your you know your leadership um, throughout throughout doing the project so I'm here I'm ready to go I've got all of my uh, stuff with me just on a break now he's talked about the um, criteria a little for what project we're going to select and how it has to be something that we that requires us to enroll people we know into achieving the project it's really got me thinking if I decide to do something kind of YouTube related it might need to be some sort of collaborative effort create a, a series that really engages us. Some ideas are starting to form. Right now I thought it would be fun to uh, jog down Oxford Street. This is quite nice. I get to experiment with my people dodging skills as well. Yeah, it's uh, Tuesday and I have just booked a ticket for some travel. Um, Stag's due in LA at the end of November, so I'm popping out to LA, um, but then a week or so later, I've got date with Destiny in Florida. So um, I've decided just to make it into a bit of a, an all-encompassing trip. When date with Destiny finishes, um, the wedding's in Hawaii, and then by the time the wedding's finished, it's gonna be pretty close to Christmas, and I'm gonna be on the other side of the world. So, the logical conclusion to all of this and a sensible way to make it all make sense was, of course, to do a round the world trip. So, the plan is as follows. I'm going from London to LA for the stag do, then Monday morning head back to New York for a week where I can do some investor meetings and catch up with friends in New York, then head from New York down to Miami for the weekend before Date With Destiny to meet up with some of the Date With Destiny participants and maybe have a little party, then head up to West Palm Beach for a week of Date With Destiny, then fly um, via San Francisco to Honolulu in, in Hawaii for the wedding, um, I think four, five, six nights in, uh, in Maui, uh, and then go from uh, Hawaii to New Zealand, where I will spend about two or three weeks, and I'll travel around all of New Zealand, never been there before, can't wait to do it, I'll focus on the South Island, um, and then on the way back, because of the routing, I'm gonna go from New Zealand to Sydney, I'll spend um, three or four nights in Sydney, use the opportunity to explore the city a little bit, um, catch up with some friends who I've got in Australia as well, um, and then I'll go from Sydney to Tokyo, um, and I've never been to Tokyo, never been to Japan, I've absolutely, you know, have been waiting to get out there. Ideally, I, w I would love to do like two or three weeks of travel around Japan, that's not gonna happen, uh, but I'm gonna do six nights in Tokyo, so I get to explore the place, eat some amazing food uh, before heading back to London. So I'll be gone from the 23rd of November, arriving back in London on I think the 15th or 16th of January. Wednesday, time for a workout. You know me and my coaching, well, I love coaching and I'm always up for trying uh, different things. So um, I recently heard about this, it's called Kai Flow. So I had a little uh, consultation with them and you know what they talked about was that it's all about kind of getting into the state of flow, managing our mindset, managing our ability so that we can really operate within the realms of true flow, like optimal performance, where creativity is just flowing and all the rest of it. Um, so this whole program kind of consists of a few different elements. So one is um, having a physical fitness regime. There's the, the food intake regimes so and the diet as well. So those two elements were okay for me. Um, the third part was all about um, managing the mental state, um, our thoughts, our creativity, uh, and getting into um, the state of flow through what they call immersion sessions, which is what I want to talk to you about today. It's all about accessing creativity through using the amygdala switch. Apparently the amygdala is like something which is kind of like here in the head. Um, you visualize the amygdala in that location, and then you imagine that you're pushing it forward. By doing that, the focus in, in your kind of mind's eye moves from here to like the front of your mind. And apparently that activates um, your amygdala and puts you into a very creative state of mind. 
Um, from there, we then do a visualization, which is um, a sense stream, and it's literally a visualization for you know the, the work section that you're about to have. So visualizing the outcome you're about to achieve, you literally then just like immerse yourself in the work. I practice this in my coaching session, but I'm going to do it properly now um, and just see how this goes. Apparently, you know, activating the amygdala is really going to enhance performance. So let's have a look. Sense streaming and immersion session complete. Um, did I feel any particular difference? Not really, if I'm honest. Um, that was one of the first times that I've tried it to do it independently. As the program unfolds, I'll keep trying this and keep developing the skill, uh, and I'll let you know how it goes. Amygdala switch, who knows?